hello and welcome to today's class for today we're trying to produce the isometric projection that you're seeing at the right hand side perhaps left hand side of the screen so first task before you draw any isometric your first task is to what draw your isometric axis as in this case so first task draw isometric axis as you can see so draw your isometric axis so this will refer to isometric axis so when you are done drawing your isometric axis this one here what's next your next task is to get the length breadth and height of the given figure my entire length there is 74 that is from here to here is 74 right next up my entire height is given to be 28 plus 20 as you can see my arrow indicating right 28 plus 20 that's 48 measure 48 this is 0, 45, 6, 7, 8, 48 at this point here. Next up, my entire width is 42. So measure of 42 from here to here, 42, 42 at this point here. Right? So with these three points, I'll project them upward. Project this point here up the faint line. Come here to project this one up here then i'll take it this way around i'll take this one i'll connect it to this line i don't fit right next task i'll bend it this way this one this way i'll connect it down to this next task i'll take it this way around right at this edge here yeah, i'll draw it down this way such that i'll use this one here to close it off this point close it up to this point here so this is the box um with which that figure is being got from right so let's proceed first things first observe that the entire length which is 74 that is from here to here is ticking from here to here is ticking, observe that it's ticking. From here to here is ticking, so I'll ticking it. First priority, first tax. Right, when you are done with this, what's your next tax? Obviously, I'm given entire height of 28, such that the 28 is ticking. I'll ticking 28. From here to here is 28. I'll ticking it. Similarly, my next task there is to project this point here inward this one project the edge inward the faint line i have this next up i'm giving an entire length for this one here for the inward line to be 40 so such that it's also ticking i'll ticking it i'll ticking it hence i will use my um t square i will extend this point here inward extending point here this one here too inward such that observe please such that i will take this one here to touch this point here you can see and then i'll take it this way around at this edge here to touch this point so where it means this point is the um, limits of this one here i'll connect this to this this way so i have this i have this right um from here of course my next task is that observe that there's an height of 20 somewhere around here so i'll measure 20 um from here to here is 20 such that it's ticking i'll take in the 20 i'm done taking the 20 um i'll take my t, t square this way around I'll connect this one to this, 
right this one to this point here you can see such that i will use my t-square or perhaps ruler to connect this tip here to this and this tip here to this so i have this so proceeding i will take in this part here too right all right proceeding next task is to produce out the box at the center here the, the box is given to be a square box i'm having 30 30 30 right the square box and the height of the box is 20. you said from here to here is what 42 right so get the half of 42 that is what 21 so we're saying that from here to here is 42 42 right get the half 42 let me use here ah for the two is what 21 right this 21 here i will transfer that point here transfer it down here transfer the point down right this is the point here so i'll take the point inward take the point inward this way this is the point inward um we said from here to here is 40 let's get the half of 40 that's 20 so from here to here or perhaps from here to here is 40 half is 20 this is the half here i'll take that half inward this way take the half inward so where the consign is at this point there at that point i'm giving this the, the um square box to be 30 so in which i'll measure what 15 Taking my compass, measure out 15, 1.5, right? As in this case, I'll come to center here, strike an arc 1, you can see, next up 2, 3, finally I have 4. With these 4 points, I will project them this way in this sense to create um, that box, this one this way, next up. This one here, take it down this way. Uh, next stop, I'll take this one here, take it down, take this one here too, take it down this way. Right? Obviously, my next task is to project each point, each edge upward. This my next task now um to take this one too upward such that i'll pick one height and measure 20 the height of that thing is 20 measure 20 from here to here is 20 and i'll take in it 20 taking it this way so with that first point 20 i'll get the other point taking this one then i'll take this one this way taking it take this one this way taking it this way I'll take this one here too. Hang on. I'll take this one here. I'll close it. Taking it this way to touch that line I drew. I'll take this one here. Take it down. Take this one here too. Take it down. Right. So I'll take this one too. Close it up. Finally, I will close this part here to together such that I will close this one too to this. I have this and I will close this part here up as in this case. So I'm left with this. I'm left with this. All right, my next task is to observe that there's a, there's, a, there's a kind of circle here and also a circle here, right? And also a curve here. So let's start with drawing the circle up here. To draw the circle up there is quite simple. First task is to get the center, right, of the circle here. We just said that from here to here is 30, right, earlier. 30, right? But um, to get the center is quite simple. We can go it this way around, right? So since we have drawn um, a square down here, can see we have gotten the center to be this this one side i'll take this side here i'll take the side up this one here this side here take it up this one here too 
take it off here so it means that i'll take this one down this way the front line and take the other one here this one down this way where this and this meet is at this point in at that point i'll construct out the circle the circle there is going to be diameter of 20 i'll measure 10 to give me radius 10 so the 10 is this take it one um two um three and finally i'll have um four right so this point there i will take it from box right a square box down here take this one to down here such that this one we touch that line and this line here right so this one too here we touch that line this line here right so next task is to join the longest diagonal this is longest diagonal together then i use my principle of ordinate method of construction of ellipse as you can see so i need this point and this point so with those points there i'll form out and the circle there so take this to this you can see connect this to this and here come to this tip here connect this to this all right so i'm saying that from here connect this to this way next up come to this tip here this edge here connect this one and this one together in this case i have this right then finally i'll come to this edge here and connect this and this together right connect these two together so we'll successfully draw the curve there um next procedure is to get the curve at this part here too so to do that it's quite simple i'll take my um set square um this center here i drew is here i will take it down i'll take the center down this way all right um i will join this part here to this and join this one here right to this so i need this part here and this to form that uh circle there or perhaps if you have a french curve you can simply make use of a french curve right so here's the drawing or perhaps this one can't see the circle are bigger so let's try to construct it using our compass so connect these two points together this and this let's tax connect them this way successfully proceeding come to this edge here to connect the two connect the two when you're done come here at this point here 
connect this to this as in this case finally at this edge here connect this to this that's all that's all that's the circle there so again that is an inner curve there uh, to reduce stress you can easily use my French curve to produce out that circle there as in this case just draw a curve here as you can see um finally i have one curve left here right i have a curve left here so such that we know very well i need to from here for it for the two get the center that's 21 and then from here to here is that 21 i've measured earlier so come to this edge here measure take it 21 here at this point there um i will draw a center line this way right such that the diameter of that curve is going to be 24 so get the radius that's what 12 that's 1.2 radius 1.2 1. so measure out 12 1.2 so at this point take it one two um three and four so i have this observe please observe this stuff here i'm still using the same concept to draw this stuff if you want to know how to draw these circles very well um you can click you can check the description of this video i'll drop a link there that link will take you to a video that um better explain this idea and how to construct all these circles right so um this is my pencil i'll take this one here take it down this way this one here take it down this way such that i will take this one to touch the two and finally take this one here this one here to touch the two so join the longest diagonal that's the principle join the longest diagonal in this case then i'll take this to this and i'll take this to this then i'm done so draw the circle i'll come to this point here i'll connect this to this together observe this one here I'll connect this and this together as in this case observe then i'll come at to this edge here to connect this to this observe the connection connect this to this observe connect this to this all right we are done connecting so finally my final task here will be very simple just take this connect your t square to this and finally to this right such that there's um, an inner curve there inner curve here of this so i'm done so we found this class helpful do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy thanks for watching